So you're probably wondering why I'm holding this and waving at you. It's because I'm going to show you how to make this bootable for Mint 13. How exciting is that? I'm going to be doing Mint 13 May today, and I'm just going to show you quickly how to make this bootable so you can start installing your Mint operating system. And you can use this to install the operating system or run it live anywhere you want. So on any laptop or desktop. Um, just keep watching, and then you can see how easy it is to do. The first thing you want to do is go to the Linux Mint website, linuxmint.com. You're going to click on Downloads, and then Linux Mint 13. We're going to present it with a few options here. Depending on what desktop environment you want, you can select it here. So the ones we're listing here is Mate and Cinnamon. Today's tutorial, I'm just going to be downloading, downloading Mate, this is what I'm used to. But if you haven't liked Cinnamon, go ahead and select that. The rest of the tutorial should work the same. Then you'll be presented with a number of download sites. Select one nearest to you to, for fastest download over the internet. Network latency will affect the speed depending on what part of the world you're trying to download from. So selecting one near your region will improve your download speed. So once you select that, click OK. Now we're going to download the Universal USB installer. This will allow us to convert a USB device into a bootable USB device with any operating system ISO we select. So we're going to download the latest release. The reason for this is so we'll have the latest listing of all the Linux distributions. Let's go ahead and run that. Agree to a license. Now we're going to select Linux Mint 13 Mate. It will be listed in the latest release of the software. So we're going to click on Browse and we're going to go find our ISO image. Let's click on the ISO, select Open. Now we're going to select our USB device. You'll want to format that USB device before putting on the ISO on it. And now we're going to click Create. You will get a warning message stating anything on the USB device will be deleted. So be very careful. It'll take a few minutes for the ISO image to convert over to the USB device. Once it's done, go ahead and click Close. Once you're done, you'll be ready to go ahead and install your brand new Mint operating system on any laptop you choose. Go ahead and plug it in and just boot off the device. You will be guided through the installation. Enjoy your new operating system. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave below. Otherwise, let me know how you guys like your mint installation um i'm going to do a little more detailed installation for people that need the step-by-step -step stuff soon so just watch for that and hopefully next week i'll do the ip tables and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe you'll get your weekly updates of linux how to's and tutorials for sysadmin and stuff so i try to do other stuff as well so just watch for that otherwise i will see you guys next time and leave your comments below thanks bye